not wanna understand why we have to protect our children. Ladies and gentlemen, 50 boys and 20 girls have been pinned to that map of Jamaica. 70 of our children. And we remember them this evening. Welcome to the 12th staging of the Child Protection and Family Services Agency, CPFSA's annual candlelight vigil and concert under the theme, Every Child Deserves Protection. Today is recognized globally as World Day for the Prevention of Child Abuse. A, a day that many other parts of the world host vigils as we are having today, public forum, and other events to pay homage to the long, young lives lost. I'm also here as a Jamaican citizen who is tired of hearing the multiplicity of crimes committed against our children, some ending in debt, and others ending with them being scarred for a very long time. So I hope more persons will come out, but those who are not here, I hope they'll also join in standing against crime and criminality against our children. a lot more on parenting, on proactive intervention, getting into the families that are in need, the children who are in families that maybe if some support is provided to the family then they can properly care for those children. We're going to be doing much more of that by bringing in the National Parenting Support Commission into the Child Protection and Family Services Agency so we can focus, have a much more robust focus on our children. Here I come with love and that's hatred. Only goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we know what no wish to be with no wish to pray. But there come the day when you be with what the Father said. Oh, 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 But in all of this, what I truly want to see is more of us speak up when we know children are being abused. It will take the entire nation to effectively protect our children. When we did the map and had our children go and place in the parishes the amount of children who have died over the last year, it was a stark reflection on all of Jamaica that right across our country, in almost every parish, a child was murdered. There was only one parish that never had a child that was murdered over the last year. So all of us, in every single community, we can do more. So my advice has always been, treat every child as if that child is your own child. If we do that, then we believe that we'll have a better Jamaica and we'll more effectively protect our children. Where can we now